savior Don't wanna be strangers Let me feel like you know what to do Leave your limitations Live and go against them Just let go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know That what you planned out Everything that you built up Isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know The life you're living Isn't that fulfilling Let me help you out love on me leave your head and let your mind be free save yourself and leave the words you spoken cause some dreams are meant to be broken hey friends i am so happy that y'all are here with me today for another video we're hopping right into it and tackling these shelves because I typically only deep clean them when I'm changing over seasons and ever since I took my Christmas stuff down I really have done nothing on these shelves and they're really in need of some redecorating but for now I'm just kind of using what I have and shifting things around. I am going to redo my Thornton sign which you'll see here in just a second. It was super easy. I just kind of changed it around on the other side because I was looking for a little bit of a change up with the colors. But I am using my Grove microfiber duster and it is amazing. I know it says on the label that it acts as like a magnet to get the dust, but it really does. I just feel like it did almost everything for me. I still went over everything with a microfiber cloth too, but this thing is my new best friend. <laughs> been using this method wood for good cleaner for years and it's probably one of my absolute favorite smells to smell when I'm cleaning I know that might sound kind of weird but it just smells so fresh I also just think it works really well for wood but I like to use it to wipe this shelving unit down which by the way I get asked all the time where this is from it was from Wayfair I don't think they sell this exact one anymore, but I know that a lot of y'all have found similar ones on Walmart's website and a few other places too, but we really do love it even though we are considering moving our TV from the mantle down to this wall, which would mean that we would have to find another home for this shelf, which I know makes a lot of y'all sad, but it also would be really nice to just rearrange the living room. We'll have to see though. I'm not totally sure if we're going to do that, but the Wood for Good stuff cleans these shelves up so well. It just kind of shines them and polishes them. Since I don't deep clean these often, they had definitely collected a lot of dust. I get stunned by your drum. I follow you into the sun. Shoot and race like a shotgun. You gotta be my someone. Okay, some of you who have been following along with my channel since the beginning know that we have always had this Thornton sign on our shelf and I love it so much. It was made for us by a sweet friend, so I knew I didn't want to get rid of it or anything, but I just thought it would be fun to mix it up on the back of the sign and do something a little bit different that is more our style these days. So I sanded the back of the sign down and I just quickly ran upstairs to my office and typed up this thing in Cricut Design Space and printed it out, weeded it, and put it on the back of the sign. It was seriously maybe a 10 minute little project and I loved how it completely changed the sign. I get stunned by your drum, I follow you into the sun, shoot a race like a shotgun, you gotta be my someone. We just recently had some family pictures made, so I cannot wait to get them printed out and update a few of these picture frames here on the shelf. I love looking at older pictures of the kids 
but I also like having the updated ones too for sure. And putting pictures up on my shelves is just such a good way for me to incorporate more color because a lot of times I will go to more of those neutral colors and tones instead of stuff that's super colorful. Also, please forgive my voice in these voiceovers. The pollen is crazy in Georgia right now and it has made me basically completely lose my voice, but it is coming back now, but it is all over the place. I had just recently placed a pretty big Grove collaborative order online and I got my stuff in. So I wanted to show you guys some of my favorites and basically all the stuff that I use on a daily basis. These are the scrubber sponges that I talk about all the time. I use them mostly for cleaning out my sink. And then this is the baking soda cream cleaner that I use along with the sponges to clean out the sink. And it has the best smell ever. And then I got two different ones of the surface scrubs. I got this one just because I love the smell and I have been loving using it on my cooktop. It's worked really well because it's stainless steel to tackle the grease and grime and all that. And then I also got a different kind just to try it out. I have not tried it yet, but I will keep you guys posted on how much I love it. Now I have two of these bubble up soap dispensers, but you guys know how much I love them. So I actually got one to give to a friend and then my favorite dish soap. I just cannot get enough of this smell. I also get really excited about the seasonal scents and I know lilac is one in the spring, so it does not last forever, but I've been using the lilac multi-service spray on just about everything and it is probably the freshest smell. It smells so, so good. And that paired with these microfiber cleaning cloths, you guys know I love them as long as I get them a little bit wet because that's just how I do things but I love the colors that Grove has too. I know that might sound so silly, but for someone who cleans a lot, it's fun to have really pretty colors with your microfiber cloths. And then I got another pair of my dish gloves just because I love them so much. And if something ever happened to them, I want to have a replacement. And then also as far as replacements go, I have all of these cleaners already, the tub and tile cleaner and the glass cleaner and also just the all purpose, but I did not want to run out. So I went ahead and got some extras. And then this spray is something that is newer to me, but you guys can tell from the bottle, I have been using it like crazy. So it does have a vinegar smell. If you don't like vinegar, you probably won't like it but I love it because I feel like everything smells so fresh and clean. Then I just got a few refills for my dishwasher pods and my laundry detergent. And keep in mind that Grove has way more than just cleaning products. They also have a lot in the health and beauty section too. So I have been loving the chapstick and the body wash smells so good. And then this makeup remover towel, I have always wanted one and just have never ordered one until now. And I have used this thing every single day and it takes off every bit of your makeup. It's incredible. I went ahead and grabbed just a few extra brushes for cast iron and then just for the grout and tile, which I use a little bit later in the video. And then you guys know this duster thing is probably already due to be cleaned, but I've used it on just about everything. It has really come in handy lately. I also went ahead and grabbed some more of the Method bathroom cleaners. I think if you're starting off on Grove and you don't know what to get and you're trying to maybe make your first order, the Method bathroom cleaner should definitely be on it. And then I got these. I had never seen these before on the Grove site and I decided to get the stainless steel cleaner, the stain remover, and the washing machine cleaner. And I have to say probably my favorite thing out of this entire order was the stainless steel cleaner. You guys are going to see here in a little bit when I clean my refrigerator and the top of my stove how absolutely incredible these products worked. In my last video where I talked a lot about Grove products, so many of y'all asked what I use on my stainless steel and I've used a number of different things, but this by far was my favorite. Now I'm just getting to tackling the top of these cabinets. So 
I don't typically come up here and clean them, but because of the type of cleaner that I am, when I'm really getting down into the deep spring cleaning, I know I want to tackle every surface in my house. And even though I know this is not an area that anyone will ever see, I know that the dust and dirt is up there, so it will bother me. So I came up here to just a weird layer of film. It was almost sticky. It kind of seemed like grease almost, which sounds really, really nasty. But this spray that I was telling y'all was my favorite. Worked like a charm. I sprayed it and all I did was have to barely wipe and it all came up. I was using so many different fun scents and just having a lot of fun with the cleaners as crazy as that sounds. And Mark came out of the office at one point and was like, wow, it smells really good in here. And that's always a good feeling because you know you're actually cleaning and getting stuff done, but then it smells good too. Close. Was your mind that I want to know? A penny for your thoughts. I want to know what's inside that heart of yours. Ooh, I feel paper thin. So you guys know I am kind of in the middle of my spring cleaning right now. Well, this is episode two of my spring cleaning series, but I already have episode three ready to go to where I am deep cleaning our bedroom and then Kate's bedroom too, which was just an insane before and after. It was like really satisfying because I deep clean the carpets too. But my biggest goal in all of this is to provide you guys with cleaning motivation and just a friend to clean along with, but also to share products with y'all that I genuinely love and stand behind. And Grove products are those to me. And it doesn't really get much better than that because y'all know how Grove works. Basically, you go online, you order what you want to order, and they ship it straight to your door. It's so convenient. You know what you're getting with their products. Just thoughtfully chosen ingredients. So you don't have to wonder what you're putting on your countertops or your surfaces and you know it's just safe for your family and that's a good feeling when you're cleaning. So I will leave my Grove link in the description box for you guys to check out. Whether you're a returning customer or new, you guys know that you will not be disappointed by their products. If you do happen to be new though, with your very first order, you also get a free gift set. So make sure to check them out. And as we keep going on in the video, I'll show you more and more of my favorite products and how I use them. And I always appreciate Grove for partnering with me on videos because I love their products, I love sharing them, and I love working with them too. Can we just talk about the fact that we have lived here for five years and I 100% have never pulled out my refrigerator. So if you also have not done that, don't feel guilty because you're not alone, but it was pretty nasty. I think there was maybe the dust of an entire human behind there, but I got it all cleaned up and back to normal and, you know, not embarrassing anymore. Although this is one of those things, again, that nobody would ever know was back there, but it cannot be good for that much dust to just be sitting in your home. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain 
brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so alive, always there in my mind. But I just don't know. Don't know if I'll dance with the lights on If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Okay, I have clearly exposed myself by showing behind my refrigerator, so I feel like it's time for y'all to confess something to me, or at least to the people on here. What is an area in your home that you have never cleaned, or when was the last time you pulled out your refrigerator to clean behind it? I think it will be kind of fun to read these responses because this is a no judgment zone. I promise you I am not judging but I just would love to read the responses. I am loving this Hoover cordless vacuum cleaner. I'll kind of go into more detail about it in my next video, but it is incredibly affordable considering that it is so powerful and that it's cordless and it's just so versatile. It's so easy to use around your home and I just love it. So I am going to make sure that that is always linked to my description box now, as well as any other vacuum cleaners that I use, because I know so many of y'all are on the hunt for some and everybody has a different budget that they're trying to stick with. So I try to be mindful of that. But if you're looking for something affordable that has really, really good suction, that is it for you, I promise. And part of my spring cleaning for my kitchen is tackling all of my cabinets. I'm not going to get to every single one in this video. I just do all of the uppers except for two of them, which are like the craft cabinets that my kids use a ton. And that's going to be in another video I'm going to be reorganizing. But for now, I wanted to tackle all the stuff that we use on a daily basis for our dishes and our Tupperware and plates and cups and all that. And kids cups take up a huge portion of our cabinets. So I wanted to get those organized and looking a little bit better. And then we had some smaller glasses that we just really don't ever reach for and there's no point in having them in the cabinets just to look at so I took them out to give them away but it is insane how much dust will accumulate on shelves when the cabinet doors are closed basically all the time it just shows you I should probably be wiping these down more but it was really satisfying to get each of these shelves wiped down.
Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. With your kitchen cabinets, do you move them around, move the stuff around in them a ton, or are they exactly how they were when you first moved in and put everything in place? That's what I've always heard is when you move in, take your time and put stuff exactly where you know you're going to want it to go long term because your brain just kind of defaults to that and that's where your stuff is always going to go. So that is kind of how it's been for me. I've always had the spices above the stove in the cabinet, which I know a couple of people have said they lose their strength or taste or something, but I have never noticed that and it doesn't really affect anything that I've used, although I really don't use spices a ton so I'm not too worried about it anyway but I am a huge fan of Lazy Susan's. I get all of mine pretty much from TJ Maxx because that's where they're the cheapest. I grabbed a couple more the other day when I was in there and I'll show y'all where I use them here in just a little bit but they're great. I would say I think they're maybe around six dollars or seven dollars per Lazy Susan and they are so wonderful for things like spices. I have been baking a ton lately, which I don't think is a good thing at all, but it has been delicious and I feel like I've used my measuring cups more in the past three or four months than I have in our entire marriage. So I wanted them to be in a spot where I could get to all of them easily. And in the past, they've kind of been inside a bowl or inside a drawer. And I can't ever find the measurement that I need when I need it. So I found that double Lazy Susan at TJ Maxx and I ended up using it for that, which has been perfect. And then this whole big cabinet works out really well for the kids' plates and bowls and all of our medicine as well as Max's breathing stuff. He has really bad asthma and he's also allergic to peanuts and eggs. So he has his nebulizer, inhalers, and his EpiPen, all that type of stuff that we need to have readily available. So I do keep it here in the kitchen. I try to keep it as organized as possible just to make my life a little bit easier too. And by the way, my sweatshirt is from Walmart. It was $14 and my bike shorts are from Amazon. So I will make sure to have both of those linked for y'all in case anybody is looking for 
something comfy to wear while you're cleaning or just in everyday life. You guys have seen me load and unload my dishwasher about a million times, so I did not make that the main focus of this video. I do throw in my pod at the bottom of my dishwasher because that is just what has worked out best for me. And then for those of you who have never used this bubble up soap dispenser, I wanted to show y'all how you use it. You just put a little bit of soap in on top of this gray piece and then you fill it up with water and it makes washing your dishes go by so much faster because you don't have to apply soap to every single thing. You can just dip your brush in and clean them. I'm the type of person that does not like to fill my sink up with water and put soap in there because I just feel like each dish just kind of soaks in the dirty water and it doesn't feel like it's getting it clean to me. So using this soap dispenser is a way that I can save time and energy and not be quite as wasteful. And then I had seen this hack on TikTok and I wanted to try it out too. And it's just soaking the grates from your stovetop in your sink with some dishwasher pods. And I'll show you guys how it all turns out in just a little bit. But while those are soaking, I'm going to scrub my stovetop with this surface scrub that I showed you guys earlier. I love it so much. Not only does it work really well, but like I said, it's one of my favorite scents, so. We typically do have an oversupply of gum, but not to this extreme. When I was going through the cabinet above the fridge, I found this bag that I guess we didn't realize that we had. I think some of it was left over from Valentine's Day because I had gotten some gum for some of the teacher gifts or maybe some mints. I don't even know. Maybe all of it. But I decided to just put it in this container because I had a few extra from the pantry that I wasn't using and get it all organized and then I actually put it into the pantry on a higher shelf so my kids can't quite reach it so they're not always getting gum and mints and then this is just like an overflow basket of all kinds of microfiber cloths and dish towels that I really don't use that often but it's nice to have them for the just in case moments. This wildflower scent of the Method antibacterial spray is definitely my favorite. I use this a lot of times to clean out my refrigerator and to clean out my trash cans, definitely to wipe down my countertops, anything in the bathroom if I'm doing a quick clean. I also use it to go around on the doorknobs in my home 
And especially if anybody's been sick recently, I just use it to do a deeper clean. Now with this spray, you do want to spray it and let it sit for a little while before you wipe it clean. That's what helps it work the best. I've mentioned this about a million times, so I don't know why I feel the need to keep reiterating it, but granite will just be so forgiving when it comes to crumbs being all over it. As I was wiping the counters down, I kept hearing crumbs hitting the floor. They were all up in this microfiber cloth. So my countertops are not clean, no matter how clean they look on camera, I promise you, I would not be sitting here wiping down a clean counter. In fact, my kids have been out of school for the week. We had a really, really bad tornado come through, and thankfully it did not hit our neighborhood, but it hit so much of our town and our city, and it was just devastating. So our kids are out of school for the week, and then spring break is next week, so we might even be out more than that just because some of the schools were severely damaged. So my kids have been home. They have been playing with everything under the sun from arts and crafts to kinetic sand. So when I was wiping down the counters, a lot of that was the kinetic sand that I was wiping up and it was also hitting the floor. But this is the cleaner I was talking about with the fridge and this was my very first time using it, so I was hesitant, just like I am the first time I use any product, but this was so insanely good. By far the best thing that I've ever used on my refrigerator, and I'm so excited that I took a chance and got it even though I had heard nothing about it. It works so well. You guys have to try it, and please, please let me know what you think. Because I wiped down the hood vent just a second ago and I ended up letting those little black circle things soak in the sink too, I just decided to go ahead and wipe down the stove top too with that cleaner even though I had already scrubbed it and it just put a nice shine on the top. And I'm telling you, when Mark comes in and notices that I clean the stove top, you know it's really clean because that seriously is what he said. He was like, whoa, it is so shiny. <laughs> And now to do one of my favorite things to do in the kitchen, which is cleaning out the sink. And I think it's for a couple reasons. One, because you know it makes everything smell good, but two, it means the dishes are done. And the dishes are rarely done around here. Typically there's always something that needs to be done. So I love cleaning out my sink because it's like seeing an empty laundry hamper. It just doesn't happen very much. I get asked many, many times a day when we are finally going to paint the kitchen island and I promise you guys, it is like up there, top of my to-do list. I had messaged a couple of y'all back on Instagram when y'all asked this and it's just 
the honest answer and it's that I need things to slow down a little bit. I feel like there's never a time where there's time enough for the island to be painted and to be allowed to dry because that needs to happen too. This coming up weekend, you know, we have all of the Easter craziness. We have family coming in town. We are hosting our family at our house. So that obviously can't be done anytime soon. And then next week is spring break. So I'm almost hoping that I can catch a break and have a little bit of time to do it. But I also want to use as much time as I can to let my kids play outside and play with their friends and see my friends. So it's just tough. Sometimes I'm like, I need to just dedicate days upon days inside my house with no interruptions. But that's just a very rare occurrence around here. But I promise you guys, it is going to get done. We head for the sky. It's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly. It's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. All the kids had helped me so much throughout the day. Of course they help make messes too, but they help clean them up. And I wanted to clean the kitchen up. It was after dinner time and the kids were doing a little bit of winding down and relaxing. I can't remember what the boys were doing, but the girls were sitting on the couch right behind me watching Saved by the Bell. They have been so into that show in the past couple weeks and it just makes me really, really happy because Mark typically will sit there and watch it with them just because you never know if there might be something that's a little bit over their heads or something going on. Who knows? But it just brings back so many memories. I've seen all of the episodes and I remember just about everything. So as I was cleaning up, I was also listening to the show and it just made me really happy. Right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want this time I won't take it to the heart cause I know we won't make it out I've had this greenery up since last Christmas, so I knew it was time for it to come down regardless. It needed to be cleaned at least, but I just wanted to give my light fixture a little break. And you guys were the ones who were sweet enough last time after Christmas. Y'all said, you can just leave it up. It's greenery. You can leave it up year round. So I totally did. But then after it's been up for about a year and a half, I'm like, okay, I should probably take it down now, you know, and at least clean it. I also wiped down the light fixture and I cut it out of the clips, but I burned the side of my hand. Goodness gracious, those light bulbs light up to the heat of a smoldering fire and it sizzled the side of my hand, but I'll be okay. <laughs> Bathing in the light that you share You light the sun Who am I to think how it be If you were mine I've been walking with my shades on for so long I can't seem to get them back on Cause ooh, how I fell in love Couldn't see it coming best in my stereo I can feel it coming, you on my radio All I'm hearing is a song Putting away the shipment of cleaning supplies is one of my favorite things to do because I don't know if 
you guys watch most of my videos, but in one, I completely organized the closet underneath the stairs, which is basically my cleaning closet and overflow of stuff like toilet paper and paper towels. So I love putting stuff into there and kind of stocking it all up. And also even the little cleaning caddies I have in our laundry room too. I love stocking those up. I just love everything being stocked. I feel that way about the refrigerator, the pantry, the cleaning closet, pretty much everything. <laughs> Now that my kitchen is finally cleaned and it felt so much better than just the typical nightly cleanup because I did a thorough cleaning in there. I wanted to come in the living room and wipe down the mantle because I had not done that either really thoroughly since Christmas time. And then also just the fireplace. It gets so dusty. We do not do fires. I accidentally set my apartment on fire one time when I was in college and I was traumatized after that. So we have just made it a rule that we just do not do fires in this house because I'm scared we're going to burn the home down. It's just not my journey for me in my lifetime. So we just look at it and we appreciate that it's there, but we don't set any fires. Anyways, there's still dust that surrounds the fireplace and there's just dust that surrounds my entire home. So it's pretty needed for me to go around on a regular basis and do some serious dusting. Okay, and I am now using the Method bathroom cleaner. I noticed that this bathtub really needed to be cleaned the other day when Max was scooting around the outside of it and he had dust all over his sweatpants. There's a reason why this is extra dusty. I sure am talking about dust a lot in this video, but we do not use our bathtub really at all. Occasionally, the kids will take a bath in here or I'll clean out like my carpet shampoo or something. But other than that, we really don't use it. So obviously when anything sits for a little while, it's going to get dusty and it's going to have hair and random fun stuff. So I scrubbed the mess out of this bathtub and I wish that you could just tell more what was coming off it, but there was all kinds of craziness. I rinsed out my cloth so many times and there was just dust and stuff falling everywhere. It was really satisfying for me, but I really just think it's all because I sprayed that spray on there and it loosens everything up. And then I did end up using the scrubby thing on the grout, but I also just used it in my bathtub too. It worked really, really well. And now I feel like Max can scoot around it without getting a booty full of dust. Say you're 
can see right through you're holding your secrets for way too long this can't keep going on with every lie they keep on hurting you getting away with everything we have four toilets in this house and six people who live here so something that i do fairly often is clean a toilet and that stuff helps so much with getting all of the gunk out of the toilets also, I love, love, love this laundry detergent from Grove. I use it with every single wash that I do and it smells phenomenal. But I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Goodness gracious, it was a long one. So if y'all stuck with me to the end, you're amazing. Don't forget to check out my Grove link in the description box. I love you guys so much. I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Do this together No, you're not alone in this